Well, it's almost dark. I found my old camp. Kind of behind the Dollar General. There's the little yard shanty from my last video. This is Marshall, Texas again. Sun setting. Yeah. That cat scan with iodine came back. And they're still at a clue. They're like, well, we still think your immune system's a bit too low to really do any surgery as of now. We'll wait and see if your labs, your next CD4 count and power load vary any, and then make a decision. And I'm like, you know what? This is getting, getting monotonous. I mean, you're going to have to either way do one or the other, so quit putting it off. So I'm I'm thinking about even going back to Alaska this spring and uh having my old doctor there. I know she'll she'll look into getting it done. But anyway, enough of that. Uh I'm gonna wait on the freight train here. This is my cardboard from last time. And there's the main line right there, the tracks, rails. That's going to Dallas and Houston and that's going to Shreve. Port, and Alexandria, New Orleans, and Monroe, and Jackson, and this is behind uh, like a little mini mall, but I haven't seen any indications of home bums being back here in a while, so I'm pretty tired today, so I'm going to go ahead and roll out early. Anyway, and uh, something always stops about 9 o'clock here, so I'll, I'll be ready by 9 to hop on. Well, it's morning. I slept okay last night. Woke up to them engines working that sand yard. They got a bunch of sand cars down there. That's what woke me up. We're supposed to get a lot of rain tonight, severe weather. There were several trains that stopped last night, but one was an auto rack, the other was an ethanol train, then there was a rock train that stopped. So there weren't no rides. I kind of needed a full night's sleep anyway, so I laid a bunch of cardboard down laid out yeah the clouds are already moving in from the southwest that's mostly where we get all our weather in east texas is out of the southwest called the subtropical jet stream brings that moisture in from the pacific across mexico and that lows they form out over the mexican rocky mountains but I'll try to get some shots of him if he pulls up with some of them sand cars. All right, I'm gonna get rolled up here. Yeah, we had a lot of clouds last night, so it didn't do one thing you can always count on if you got clouds overhead you're not going to have any dew oh you just stuff it in fits every little nook and cranny when you do that It fills out nicely that way too. Somebody had this bag before me use some duct tape on that string and that glue came off and got all inside that ring and it sticks.
Yeah, I'm gonna go to Sonic here in a minute. that all right see how it's sticking hard to draw up somebody put duct tape on that screen and that glue came off Getting this started is the hardest part, keeping it even all the way up. Now there's an abandoned grain elevator down here. I'm going to start making my way towards I have that abandoned grain elevator in another one of my videos. I believe I sang a song in there or something. You could hear the echo. But back in the day, about eight or 10 years ago, I climbed all the way to the top of that grain elevator on the inside, but one of the ladders has since rotted and fallen, so you can't get up there to the top floor anymore. We'll go up there and take a look around. All right. I wish I could that just mat on the bottom but there isn't any way to do it the scrap there's no scrap it run along the bottom Yeah, he's been there about an hour working them cars. Uh, walking best I can with bucket and water and everything, holding the camera. Sonic is just right up a block. I'm kind of cut off from it now.
They just load sand in those cars. Must be fixing a pull. Wish I didn't have that dang water. may stop. I rarely ever see an IM stop here, but there's been an extra amount of traffic in, in the, on these tracks last night. About four times as much as normal. I think he might be stopping. Yeah, that's what that sand train's waiting on. Be the first time I ever seen an IM stop here. Yeah, the bull loves watching these. You hear these kids talk about, I don't know why I got pulled off the train. It's always an IM. Well, he's maintaining speed now. He may have had a caution light that went back to green. I gotta get walking. Yep, he stopped. Really nothing to ride anyway.
and usually whenever one stops like this here in Marshall on that Shreveport line he's gonna crew change because he's going on to Dallas Fort Worth now if he goes on to Houston he'll crew change in uh, Longview 23 miles west There's some sand cars over there. Yeah, that grain elevator is about a half mile up. Oh, the sun's coming out. Hobo shadow. Almost time to come out of this hat. I think I'll do that now. Whew. I'm struck head sweating. Well, he's finally leaving. He got going about 15 miles an hour and then went into emergency. He skid on the tracks about eight foot. I wish I would have had the camera going when that happened. Uh, here's that old grain elevator. We were me and a friend about oh eight or 10 years ago at night seen a bunch of guys running along top up there with lights so the next morning I went in and uh, found a way up all the way to the top up there but on the fourth floor now the, the ladders rotted you can't get up past the fourth floor now <sighs> Boy, you fall on that. It's a long way down. Maybe we'll go up there later. Yeah, me too. Oh, Hercules. 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 The puny man. The puny man. Hercules has no muscles. Ah, I don't remember any of this. Scared I'm gonna fall in one of them damn holes. I'm gonna go see if I can't find the old way I went up last time I was here.
Mm-hmm. This doesn't look like it. Might be a excellent sleeping spot. <sighs> All the dang water damage since. We really gotta watch them holes. End up falling in a hole like Tom Hanks in Money Pit. No one knew he was there until she got home from work. Yeah, it must have been another room way I went up. Find a dead body in there. Good place to hide one. Good lookout here. Here's the train yard down there. Well, anyway, hopefully I'll be in Dallas, Fort Worth, tomorrow. Good. Like that train that I am that stopped earlier, that's all I need but a jump train. There's that little sand yard. Remember, I called a pizza out here one time too. Actually came to the end of the parking lot there. Dropped it off. Actually, sounds pretty good right now. I might order a pizza. Yeah, what's the address? Uh. The abandoned grain elevator. Uh, what floor? The one with the dead body. Oh, I know where that's at. God, this is like Star Wars. Nothing has railings. God. Man. Like a, some kind of feeder belt, conveyor belt that brought grain up. No, you you follow me down. Golly. Hmm, maybe I should follow him down. Good Lord. People back then, when they made these stairs, must have never heard of size 13. Ugh. Boy, there's some good firewood. Well, must have been another place. I don't feel like trying to find that other. I'm ready to ride. Looks like he's getting ready to go north. He just switched that track to go 
around the corner to go north to Texarkana. That sand train. through here and see what track he's on. Yeah, there's a an opening here you can see off the side. We'll be able to see what track he's on. Yep, he's taking that corner to the right. See the rail he's on? If he were on the rail closest to us, he'd be going to Dallas through Longview. Yeah, there's nowhere to ride on them sand cars. I mean, you could ride down in the sand, but you better make sure you ain't sweating. Be like a day at the beach. Boy, this place is like a mine. That you were to come in here during the dark, that's a whole story down. A whole nother level. I mean, if you were to come in here blindfolded and just randomly walk through you probably get a 50-50 shot of making the other end. There's no chance there, golly. Oh yeah, sun, come out. Some vitamin, vitamin D. Delicious. Yeah, that tower there looks new. Yeah, it's really neat. That time I got way up on that top floor here and looked out over the yard. Man, that was a real neat sight to be able to see the yard from that high up. And the main roads just I think it's U.S. Highway 80 that runs through here where all the, well, the strip, where all the restaurants are and stuff. Well, at least the sun's coming out. <laughs> 